Hey guys, today we'll write a code in JavaScript and React to show you how to create reusable tooltip from scratch and implement it. We'll create a tooltip which is visible when we hover over a button and disappears when we leave the button area. This is our final output that we will achieve at the end of this video. If you want to achieve exact same styling as me, you need to set up your project with Bootstrap, which is super easy and I recorded a separate video on this topic which I'm linking here. So yeah, let's start. Um, I'm creating a new JavaScript file. We import React and use state hook to manage the state of our tooltip. First, we'll define the tooltip component and below we'll define another component which will implement the tooltip component that we defined above. We'll call it tooltip from scratch. We need to export the tooltip from scratch component as the default export of this module, making it available for use in other parts of our React application and reference it in index.js file. So this is our basic structure. You can see the tooltip definition and tooltip implementation right here. Our tooltip component will take two props, text and children. Text represents whatever will be displayed in the tooltip. Children refers to the content or elements and clothes within the tooltip component. It expects React element here, and in our specific example, it will be button, but you can insert any element here, which we will show later. Inside the tooltip component, we will use useStateHook to manage the visibility of the tooltip. The isVisible variable will be initially set to false, so our tooltip by default will not be visible. The tooltip will return div element with the class name tooltip container. To this tooltip container, we'll add event handlers on mouse enter and on mouse leave. When the user hovers over the container, set is visible true is called to make the tooltip visible. And when the user moves the mouse away, set is visible false is called to hide it. Inside this container, we'll render children prop. This is the placeholder for our button or any other element that we talked about. After this, we will conditionally render the tooltip, which will depend on is visible variable. So there will be another div here with the class name tooltip and past text. Now let's move to the implementation. I will set up the text prop of the tooltip component to I am a tooltip and we will enclose a button element here. Let's also add another div uh, at the top here to move the button a little bit toward the bottom. If we go to local window now, we will see the tooltip is not visible. One way to test if it should be visible is to print out the isVisible variable to a console. We can see how when I hover over a button, isVisible is set to true, and when I move away, it's false. So everything works as expected, but we still don't see a tooltip. One important thing that we missed is the styling. I will create CSS file to style my class tooltip container and tooltip class. And now everything works as expected. I didn't go into the details of those CSS properties. You can read about them or experiment with them on your own. If you go to your developer tools, you can change them right here and see what happens with your elements. Now, remember when we said the children prop can intake any element? Let's replace our button with the input box and see what happens. 
we'll get exactly the same behavior of our tooltip on different elements. 